Hey there folks, Luke here with the Outdoor Group Review. I hope you're all doing well. Today for this episode, it's time for a flashlight review, my friends. I know everybody loves those. And we have the Phoenix MC11. This thing is definitely different. It's definitely unique. I can't say that I've seen many flashlights like it. So go ahead and get comfortable. Let's take a look at it now. So we'll start off here with the packaging. As you can see, this is the Phoenix MC11 angle light. And without a doubt, it is an angle light. That's cool, that's neat. Inside of the package, you do receive an additional ring, just in case the O-ring wears out. You receive a Phoenix warranty card, and you receive the Phoenix instruction manual for the MC-11. Also included is a belt clip and a lanyard. Let's zoom in and take a closer look at this flashlight now. When it comes to weight, this is 3.1 ounces with a battery and a clip. And this runs on one AA battery. The LED is a Cree XP G2 R5 LED with a lifespan of 50,000 hours. It has four modes, including burst mode, which is 155 lumens. It has a low mode, which is three lumens. The mid level is 50 lumens and high is 105 lumens. It does have reverse polarity protection, is made from aluminum, and has an ultra clear glass lens. So, as you can see, that is a very unique looking flashlight. I put the lanyard on, has the belt clip on. As you can see here, you have this triangle piece of metal, which you can use as a clip. You can clip this on different things. You can hang it from your tent if you want to. Personally, I like to put this over my belt and walk hands free, which I'll show you in just a minute how that works. This has one switch to turn it on and off. So as you can see, turn it on, tap to cycle through the different modes, hold down to turn it off. Now if you want burst mode, you just simply hold down the button and that is the brightest setting right there at 155 lumens. Then you can let go and it turns itself off. Down here at the bottom is the battery compartment. It's not lubed, but right now everything goes on nice and smooth. Takes a one AA battery. It's a little bit rough tightening on the cap. The threads aren't super nice. It definitely needs to be lubricated. Now, as mentioned, this is an angle light, and this is really neat. So you can angle that up, you can angle that down, just like so. That is very cool. Now, as mentioned, I like to carry this on my belt. So I'll take that clip, the pocket clip, and do just like that. I could turn it on, walk around, do whatever I need to do, hands free. It really does work well, it's cool. So I can angle that more down if I need to, angle it up, whatever I want. Now when it comes to the measurements for this flashlight, it is right at four inches tall. The head is around one inch in diameter. Overall, I mean, it's a small flashlight as you can see there. It feels good in the hand. I've enjoyed carrying this flashlight. It works well. The runtime on the battery on a AA is pretty dang good. I've been able to run this flashlight on high, which is 105 lumens. And with my AA batteries, which are rechargeable, I get about two hours worth of battery life. So that's pretty darn impressive. Now with my experiences so far with this flashlight, I have to say that I like it. It performs well. The quality is good. Now, to be honest, I have to say that I don't know. There's something slightly cheap feeling about this flashlight, and I can't quite put my finger on it. The aluminum construction of this flashlight is very good, but there's something about the head here that just doesn't feel solid to me, and I can't really say what or why that is. Now, when I was hiking around with this flashlight, I was just thinking about that. You know, it, it feels good. It doesn't feel great, if you know what I mean. So I decided to do a little bit of research about this, and apparently the previous versions of this light were made from plastic, and there were issues with the head breaking. People would have them break into a number of different pieces. Now, supposedly that has been corrected with the aluminum versions. We shall see. I will continue to test this out over a long period of time. And like I said, I've been testing this out for a few months now. I would say maybe 25 hours worth of hiking time with this, and it has performed well. Performance-wise, this does just fine. This is not an amazingly powerful flashlight. I, I would like to see a stronger version of this, something with an 18650 battery, something with awesome battery life. 
and very high lumens. But as it is, 105 lumens on high, 155 lumens on burst. Overall, just really good performance. 105 lumens is 105 lumens. You could definitely hike with that. You can definitely walk through your house, look for things. You could do things outside. You can work on your vehicle, so on and so forth. Yeah, it's good performance all the way around. When it comes to a hiking flashlight, yeah, it works good. When it comes to being a utility light, it really is awesome. I've used this around the house for some plumbing repairs. And I tell you what, being able to angle that thing so you can do what you gotta do underneath the cabinet working on the sink, it's awesome. Now this product was sent to me by a company called tinywind.com. On their website, you can purchase this for 40 bucks. You can also get this for $40 at the Phoenix website. So, you know, purchase it wherever you want to. If you decide you want this light, of course, you will find links down below for the tinywind.com and the Phoenix site as well. Is there anything that I would like to see added to this flashlight? And yes, there's two things that I thought of that I would like to see. For one, I wanna see a magnetic base for this flashlight. That way, say if you're working on your car, you could put it right on the hood. That is an awesome feature to have. It would definitely take this flashlight to the next level. Also, I do like this angling head. I like the fact that it goes up. I like the fact that it goes down. It would not be difficult to add a swivel to this so that you can rotate the top as well. That would be the next step for this product. So my friends, for our look at the Phoenix MC11 flashlight, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Until the next transmission, strengthen on it.